I built big future city with hundreds of millions of haram oil dollar in the middle of the desert. Um, why poop trucks then? I forgot to build a sewage system. Ah, uh, the all too famous poop trucks of Dubai. Can't wait to go there one day just to visit them. Talk about city skylines moment. It's still hard for me to believe sometimes this is a real thing. The Imperial Japanese Navy on October 22nd, 1944. Gentlemen, this is be it. No life buoys left. We go down with the ship. No want to die. It has been great honor to serve you. But there be one here. Oh, there actually is just one left. 13 minutes later. Where am I? You in heaven. I fight in name of emperor. Was it worth it? Yes, I izakai you and show you glorious modern Japan. What is be an izakai? Do not worry. Meanwhile, modern Japan. So poor cannot even afford rope to hang self. Work 57 hours a week and sleep three hours a day. I haven't even seen a woman since primary school. Japan is greatest country. This artwork was beautiful. Not sure if I pronounced that right, but I guess that imperial Japanese ball was suddenly transported into a new or unfamiliar world. I guess that's how he was able to see the future. Well, I hope all the horrible things you did was worth it. Wait, we actually have a spin-off comic with a new ending. The angel once again going to show him glorious modern Japan. Ara ara. Konichiwa! This of be my wife, Atago. Watashi love her very much. Okay, well, wait a second. Maybe with this ending, um, maybe it was worth it. Wait a second. Is this a warship personified as an anime girl? I think I just realized what you did. Oh, I should have saw this coming. When will it end? No, but seriously, I really love this. The year is 1912 and the Titanic is sinking in the background. The year is 1937 and the Hindenburg is going down. The year is 1986, and the Challenger spacecraft has blown up in the sky. Cut to 2022. Wait, wait, excuse me. Russia is be the very opinion that his cruiser die explode is tragedy enough for joining the tragic vessel die death club. Therefore, I ask my fellow grievers that Russia sanctions be lifted. I mean, not that sanctions are be do anything. So, when will start negotiate? Oh, how did pitch go, big glorious master mother Russia? Just shut Shut up. Belarus. I didn't even realize that's supposed to be Belarus. They're just Russia's lollipop. Or wait, no, that's supposed to be a puppet, and Russia's just talking to himself. I loved how epic these first three panels were. Yeah, I guess Russia should look up this definition again. Dad, look! A caterpillar! Oh, I don't think that's just a caterpillar. It's gonna go into a statehood cocoon! Oh no, it's Puerto Rico! Here he goes, he's gonna give it a try. Bang! Oops. My finger slipped. Puerto Rico can never into statehood. I love how Washington DC just looks on in horror. That might make them rethink going into their own statehood cocoon. You wouldn't want the same fate now, would you? Curious who's gonna be shot next. Happy Orange Day, screams the Netherlands. Oh, with their OG flag in the background. Oh, wait a second. Hmm, yeah, maybe it's a bad idea to remind South Africa of their former orange flag. I actually didn't even realize the similarities between the old Dutch flag and the old South African flag, but yeah, this was a pretty controversial time for this Country. It sucks because I love when flags use orange. Not enough flags are using orange. But both of these two actually have controversy around them. At least we have Ireland and India. France! France! Look what I found! What is it? What is it? A butterfly! We, oui, but what of kind? It can be of different kind? Hmm, yes, let me check my book of butterflies. Ah, found it! It's called A Monarch. Uh, France? Is everything of all right? Knew that was gonna happen. It's guillotine time. No! <laughs> Wait, how do you put a butterfly in a guillotine? I don't, it doesn't matter. Never say the word monarch or monarchy in front of the French ball. It's the fastest way to lose your head. Probably also a bad idea to go to this country and be like, yes, queen. Hey, buddy, I thought we agreed Western Europe was mine. I no understand. I kept Eastern Europe. Oh, yeah? Well, explain this. San Marino, is it true you have a communist government? Wait, what? They just said C. See, I told you. Wait, I, I no understand. You're no puppet of mine. San Marino proceeds to say they democratically elected of them. Oh, uh, I'm confused. You, you can, can have, have communists, communists in fair, fair elections? elections? Does any of you know how democracy works, responds San Marino? I think the Soviet and USA ball are forgetting to respect their elders, since technically speaking, San Marino is the oldest ball in the country ball universe. San Marino is apparently the first country to have freely and democratically elected a communist government. This coalition was formed right after WWE between the Communist Party and the Socialist Party in this country and went from 1945 to 1957. That is a long time. It's another one of many fun facts about this tiny country. It's the 1760s. Apologies, old chap, but I'm taking your land and giving it to my son. It's just too valuable to let you rule over. You're wasting it. Your foul beast child will never know the value of this land. Oh, shush. I'm sure they will. Flash forward to now. Freaking hell, not even a yard. Oh, is the real estate market pretty messed up in Canada too? Three million dollars for this hamster cage. Sounds like California. I guess that's one way to make us feel grateful. Listen to me, losers. In order to prove I'm the best of you all, I'm going to set a record so high none of you will have a chance of beating it.
eating it. Oh, they're gonna get into competitive eating. US, do not do it! There's too many burgers! Shut up, Canada. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Ugh. America, wake up. You have ascended into higher state of being. What the frick? You is given knowledge of higher state of being. Zzz. I. I understand everything now. Thanks to my newly gained insight, I have to return to lower state of being for I have a mission to accomplish. Here lies the USA. He liked guns. I'm back, female dogs. <laughs> I can't say what they were actually supposed to say. World, you have to tremble. Why am I imagining like an 80s montage right now with them just demolishing this eating contest? Oh, wait, maybe, maybe not. Did they die again? America, you have ascended into even higher state of being. For frick's sake, just let me set the record. I'm just trying to figure out why Belarus was chosen to be this godlike spirit. And then it was an alien with four eyes instead of just three. It makes sense that they weren't able to complete the competition with three eyes. I just made the old saying, eyes bigger than the stomach, even worse. Oh, apparently Belarus is radioactive because of Chernobyl. I guess this is what the spirit looked like the third time he ascended. Of course, they just continue to gain more eyeballs. Has anyone ever thought about the impacts to the sunglasses industry if we did start growing more eyes? Like, if you continue to gain more eyes, but only two ears, like, how exactly would it work? I guess it's a good thing that America didn't cross the Morocco ball in this comic, because I think they'd probably be stuck in the fire realm. San Marino in 1797. Bonjour! Care about some more land, weapons, or food? Um, no thank you. Just goes back to watering their plant. San Marino in 1861. Ciao! Wanna join me? me in my new empire? No thank you. Just goes back to fishing. San Marino in the 20th century. Just tons of chaos happening all throughout the continent. But again, they just always go back to doing what they do. San Marino in 1991. They're asking to be a part of the common currency. Wait, do you want EU membership? No thank you. Then okay, I don't see why not. San Marino in 2022. Russia screams off screen. You are now officially unfriendly to glorious Russia. Is this about Ukraine? I have much more important things to do anyways. To be continued forever and ever. And this is probably exactly why San Marino has survived for as long as they've survived. They just don't get involved in the drama. They always stay out of it. It's actually kind of a superpower in a way. Pretty incredible. Pretty much just say no thank you to every diplomatic offer, which is why it is the only clay that remembers Rome. This really makes me want to make a San Marino plushie one day, but there's just so many other countries I have to get to first. The year is 1914, and France asks Switzerland, do you want to help in the Great War? No thanks, I'll always be neutral in war. Why do I feel like we're gonna see some deja vu right here? Hey Switzerland, will you help by joining the Allies and beating Germany? No thank you, I'm always neutral during war. Hey Switzerland, you want to join to help fight into future wars? No thanks NATO, I know we're friends, but I'm always neutral during wars. Alright Kami, explain your Yourself. Yeah, when you help fight into war against evil power. Never. Hehe, <laughs> I always have neutral. This is pretty hilarious. As of lately, I have seen a lot of normies question why Switzerland doesn't join NATO. But to everyone that watches this channel or just studies history in general, this is literally like the least surprising thing that could ever happen. Even throughout most of their history, Switzerland usually just kind of fought themselves. There are, of course, a couple of examples of them fighting against other countries. They usually just kind of kept themselves to themselves. You'd always hire Swiss mercenaries, though, if you wanted to get them involved. Never forget. We needs organ donate. Oh no, Czechia is dying. I'm gonna donate, says the USA. Thank you, America. I'm gonna perform surgery right away. Flash the surgery room. <laughs> what was Germany doing with Latvia? Do I even want to know? Success. I is do it. Is this gonna be an organ state joke? Yep, there it is. Thank you, America. Dad, why? <laughs> they don't even know who this is. Whatever, Macedonia. Sometimes these comics really throw me off, like I have no idea what direction they're gonna go in. And other times I can hit it right on the money. I have to say is organ donor and I think we're all gonna get it. Alarm rings! Spain, get back to work. Meanwhile, Malaysia and the Philippines going to sleep. <laughs> Spain's like stupid Germany. Alarm rings again! Malaysia, get back to work this instant! Useless mainland. Oh, now the Philippines are with Spain with siesta time. Stupid Singapore. Alarm rings again and the cycle just repeats. Ah, <laughs> uh, this must be why the Philippines are just so happy. This sounds like my type of place. I've always wanted to go to Spain just for siesta time. I've been practicing that my entire life and I've 
literally never been to Spain. And I guess this isn't even exclusive to Spain. A lot of other countries practice a nap in between like 2 to 5 p.m. Me every day between 2 and 5 p.m. It's 1950s. Hey, USA, what you got there? Obviously, it's a nuke, dummy. But not just any nuke. It is the freaking nuke. Remember the one I dropped on Japan? The one I dropped so hard it made him become my friend? That was a mere peasant nuke. This one is king. Now I just gotta test it. You gonna test it in some barren wasteland like the Soviets? I try my best to do the opposite of what the Soviets do. They always gotta be different. America will never be caught copying their communist rival. Why drop a nuke on some useless tundra when you can just completely destroy a beautiful island and contaminate the waters and so many other things nearby? Gotta love those tests in the 50s. What you are do? Poland is build border wall for keep out migrants? <laughs> yes. Migrants. Shouldn't Poland technically be building their wall in front of Ukraine to keep Ukraine away? Because the Russians would have to come from that side. Poland can into wall. And big thanks to my patrons. Isaac, I guess. Australia's Susius Chungus. Austin Powers Faja. Hey, Susos, man. A uh, fat. My name is Joe Biden. I love fat being Joe Biden. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Cowboys 83. Bring back Poland. Bornski W. Good old Raya. Drew's pet dog. Jakov. Bruni. Marco Hendetta. 5610. Fresh animation. Rise. The Mexican Why am I doing this? the Conqueror. 